Hi, this is Steve from Conductive Labs, and uh, in this video we're going to look at the MRCC screen. This is just going to be an overview, and then I'll go through each screen individually in separate videos. When you first turn on the MRCC, you'll see, oh, by the way, you should be looking up there. Probably not much going on over there. Um, when you first look, turn on the MRCC, you'll get the activity screen. Now the seven circles across the top tell you what main page you're on. So there's seven main pages. The first one is the activity page. This shows you some MIDI activity. We will go over each of, each of these screens individually in other videos. I just want to give an overview. When you uh, rotate the knob, that um, is what moves you through the seven different screens. The second screen is the routing screen. And this shows you, we looked at this screen mostly in the, other, in the last videos. This shows you each routing, and you can go through all the routings at this, on this screen by going down into them and rotating. Again, we'll look at that separately. I'm having a hard time staying at this high level. Um, the next screen is port filtering. This is where you can set filters for imports and outports that are global. Um, this screen is the mod screen. So um, I do want to drop down into this. So in order to um, drop down into a subscreen, uh, you hit the down button. That's the white one with the down arrow, obviously. And then you use the knob again to rotate through. So the, in the mods, this is how we're modifying routings. So um, there's a channel map, velocity scale, a CC scale, CC layers, um, oh, it wasn't seat light, I'm sorry, channel layers. This is how you can split and layer um, multiple uh, MIDI tr channels. Um, note alter, transpose, and note map. So again, we'll have a video on each one of those separately. Now in order to go back, I'm going to hit the up arrow. So now we'll go to the uh, fourth screen. This is the extras, and in the extras we have got um, the clock, because MRCC has its own MIDI clock. There's nothing in the middle. Um, we're going to be adding a feature called uh, program change. Now that's not to say the MRCC doesn't handle program changes. This page is so that uh, in the future we'll be able to ripple program changes with some uh, logic, um, but that's not uh, released yet. And then the last one is Arpeggio. So there's an, actually there are uh, multiple ARPs on the MRCC. So when you're using something like a nano key that doesn't have an appagiator, you can use the appagiator for the MRCC. Now we'll go back up. Now we'll go over to tools. In the tools, um, on the tools screen, we've got, uh, this is where you save and load your presets. The next one is where you um, assign labels. So uh, you can assign labels to any port, so those labels will be shown when you select them so you know what um, device are being used, was plugged into that. And then separately, there's a, a editing labels, and again, we'll get into those details in another video. There's a MIDI monitor, so you can actually monitor what's going on uh, through MIDI. Um, and then there's a couple of um, play notes. So if you lose track of what cable goes where, you can play these notes and they'll play through and show you what number is being played. And so if you listen for those notes and watch, again, <laughs> we'll go through these separately. And then there's a, a gear search, which is similar to play notes. And then lastly, we have our settings pages, and this is where we set global settings for um, the MRCC. So this one, for instance, has a, a MIDI control channel, uh, the brightness, um, uh, enabling the remotes, and and how wh whether you've got a remote seven or a second MRCC uh, has CV for clock. Uh, we've got a really cool uh, um, LED light show, and so this is where you select those. And then finally, um, this is gives you just information of what the name is, so that when you plug it into PC, you know what it's called and then the version and firmware and stuff like that. And that's it, that's the menuing system. Oh, let's, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about navigation. There are some quick keys. So if I press the green button, no matter where I am, it'll always bring me up to that top level and then I can scroll back. When I'm on a routing page, and let's just route one to five for right now. Um, if I add something into 
the modifiers and I press the knob, it'll bring me right to that modifier. And if I press it again, it brings me back. So that's a very handy way to get to that navig to get to that modifier and be able to change the presets without having to navigate all the way around. It'll just toggle back and forth. Um, let's see. So I'll use a green button to get back to the top. Um, also, when I'm at the top and I press this button, what it'll do is it'll go through the activity page and the routing page. And then if I'm on a third page doing something else, it'll go through there. So let's, let's go back. Let's just say I'm in extras like there. So now if I click here, it goes from activity to routing to this particular extra. And if I hit again, it goes activity and routing. So it always does activity and routing. And then if you are on a third page, it will cycle through that. So that's a quick way to get back and back around without having to uh, navigate all the menuing system. So again, if you're not on, in, if you're not in a, um, if you're not in one of these modifiers, which will toggle you back and forth to the modifier, then it'll rotate you through routing and activity and a third, a third um, page if you were there. Hope that's not confusing. Once you get used to using it, it's really, really simple. Uh, again, thanks for watching the video and I hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you later.